As the sales director of the solar for the MENA region, my role is uh, kind of multifaceted and it is pivotal to the company's uh, growth in this region. So the basic responsibility is to develop and implement strategic uh, plans, which is pivotal to the solar's growth in this region. So this basically involves identifying potential markets, setting sales targets, um, and working closely with our global marketing team uh, to uh, ensure that uh, these uh, targets are achieved. I, I, I also manage the key accounts. The idea is to foster a strong relation with the clients and ensure that uh, their needs are met uh, while our uh, this, I mean the orders are also flowing in. Uh, apart from that, I also provide market feedback from the region. Uh, basically, our production and development teams will work on the feedback I give them and uh, you know um, devise a marketing plan for the region and for the company. So the overall contribution to the solar extends beyond driving sales. It, it involves uh, shaping our company's presence in the MENA region ensuring that we are not just a supplier, but a trusted partner in the solar industry. If you ask me about my journey in the solar industry, it started um, almost three decades back in India. Uh, immediately after my engineering, I joined the solar company. So uh, in my solar journey, I have actually worked at uh, different roles. I have played different roles within the solar value chain. So basically, this has given me a uh, uh, you know, uh, rounded perspective on the industry as a whole. This experience was instrumental in uh, you know, shaping my perspective on the industry's potential and the role I can play in this. So uh, after my 50, first 15 years in India, I moved to the UAE where I was associated with a, a leading EPC company called Value Edition. So, so I, I worked uh, for Value Edition for the next 15 years and uh, in April this year, I moved to Das Solar. So basically when I joined Das Solar, I brought my solid experience from 30 years in India as well as in the UAE. The most memorable uh, moment in solar, I, I would say uh, in 2019, uh, we were uh, associated with Dubai Electricity and Water Authority where uh, we were chosen as the EPC contractor to do uh, their uh, solar carport system. And most importantly, they had a facade uh, BIPV system, building integrated uh, photovoltaic system. So basically this involved uh, wrapping the whole building with colored PV glass. This was a very challenging uh, project. Why? Because uh, e each colored PV glass was of different dimension. The whole thing was measured, so nothing was standard, everything was non-standard. So we had to uh, do a lot of uh, engineering work before the project and uh, ordering these materials from Spain, uh, transporting it because each glass uh, would be uh, like three, four meters long and uh, two meters wide. So it, it was a humongous task, uh, especially to avoid breakages and things like that. So, so this, this I uh, feel is a highlight in my career and uh, this is a very iconic building that Dubai uh, Electricity and Water Authority's R&D building is a very iconic uh, project in this region and uh, we, we are very proud, I, I am personally very proud of being a part of this project. And the highlight uh, would be uh, getting awarded for this project in the very next year in uh, 2020, Messia, uh, in the Messia Awards we secured the most innovative project, so project of the year for this particular project. And I thank my whole team, my project team and uh, the support uh, staff uh, at Value Edition for this. Uh, well, uh, if I could impact one thing uh, in the solar industry in Africa, it would be to enhance the accessibility and uh, affordability of solar technology as a whole. You know, despite the uh, abundant availability of sunshine, uh, Africa, many, many parts of Africa still uh, lack the infrastructure and resources to harness this uh, potential, huge potential. So basically the high upfront costs, lack of financing options, this I would say are, are the most common barriers and uh, my, my uh, aim will be to foster partnerships and initiatives that reduce these barriers 
to to uh, some extent this will include advocating for favorable policies because without policies nobody can come into africa and uh, make a change so this is the first thing i will look at uh, so the policies will help to attract investments uh, that can bring up local manufacturing promoting innovative finance options so by doing this you you actually enhance the lives of the people in africa so basically uh, by achieving this you get uh, the communities to uh, benefit from clean uh, energy and uh, with this uh, you know the socio economic development of the region can also be uh, assured so this is not uh, just about selling uh, the solar panels uh, but it is about empowering uh, the people of africa especially the communities and and transform their lives if i see the african market in the next one year i am very bullish about uh, about it uh, i i would anticipate a significant growth and evolution in the african solar market so uh, as i said before there is a huge shortage of power and uh, with the abundance of solar energy and the falling costs of solar uh, modules and components i i think africa is well positioned to uh, transition into this phase of uh, you know efficient and low cost solar system and uh, if you look at uh, the possibilities i would still say off grid uh, holds uh, the major promise due to the lack of infrastructure for on grid systems so uh, off grid a bit of on grid in the big cities and then uh, i i would say a mini grid systems i think mini grid system is particularly suitable for africa due to its uh, geography and the uh, scattered nature of the settlements so uh, if if uh, you know we can we can bring in uh, ec financing options then i i would say this will give a impetus uh, to the solar movement in africa on a whole uh, overall i would say uh, the future of african solar market is very bright uh, with immense uh, potential for growth and innovation